Hey guys, welcome to Wiki Studio and welcome to another brand new episode. And if it's your first time, then yes, welcome to my channel. And I try to come up with designing tutorial every single week. Uh, so if that's the thing that you're looking for, then please do consider subscribing my channel. And one more thing uh, that I get a lot of requests about uh, freelancing career. So just to give a quick disclaimer, uh, I am not a full-time freelancer. Uh, but the only advice that I can give is uh, try to maintain a strong presence in one of the social media. Uh, it could be uh, Facebook, it could be uh, Instagram, or it could be a YouTube channel where you can showcase your skills. Uh, I'm so glad that I started this YouTube channel and through this channel I get connected with uh, uh, very talented photographers from all around the world. And now I work as a freelancing designer for them. So yes, so if you're just starting out, start with uh, social media. And there are a lot to cover in the tutorial section too. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create an artboard. And for that, please press Ctrl N N. And I'm going for 4x5, resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 8, color background content as white, and color profile at sRGB, and then aspect ratio to square pixels. And let's click on create. And right after that, let's drag and drop this image right over here. And let's keep it somewhere over here. Press Ctrl and T. Let's make it bigger, just like so. Maybe let's make it some more bigger. Yep, just like that. And then uh, after that, let's drag and drop this uh, another image as a background. And again, let's convert it as a smart object. Ctrl T. Let's make it smaller. You know what, let's bring it under this layer and control T, let's keep it right around here and let's change the perspective just like so, maybe let's make it just like that yep let's keep it like so and let's create a layer max for this layer go to brush and i'm going for an environmental brush so this one and then with a black color selected let's erase uh, some of these hard edges right just like so and then again it doesn't have to be perfect i'm gonna add some uh environment later on but for now let's keep it just like so right and then let's drag and drop another image so this one and let's keep it right around here let's keep it under this layer Press Ctrl and T. Let's make it. before that. Let's convert it as a smart object and Ctrl T. Let's make it bigger. Yep, just like so. Yep, like that. And maybe let's bring it a little down. I guess. Yep, just like so. Here we go. And now let's create a layer max on this layer too and go to brush and with the same brush and with black color selected let's erase some of these parts just like that. Create a new layer under this layer so go over here click right around here and with a white color let's add some uh, environment right around here just like that. Let's create a one more layer and let's add some just right around here. Let's go on very top and let's add some 
in the front too just like so and let's go over here in between these two layers let's create a one more layer and let's add some environment just like that all right now what we can do is let's uh, drag and drop another png right around here let's keep it all the way to the top and let's rename it as a crack glass and press ctrl and t let's make it bigger just like so let's add some rotation just like that and let's keep it maybe maybe right around here looks good to me all right now let's do some uh, random selection so go to pen tool and let's add some shapes and it doesn't have to be perfect but if you want to spend much time it's really up to you and then like so and let's end the selection let's change the shape name as a selection 01 and let's hide this uh, shape for now and let's add one more selection right around here And let's go over here and let's add a hue and saturation and for one let's drop down the saturation just like so let's fill this uh, hue and saturation layer max with black color right and then let's press ctrl and click on selection one so we got this part selected and now go back to hue and saturation layer click on that layer max option and let's fill it with white color so this is what we got right now control D let's still select and again let's add a one more hue and saturation and this time I'm gonna take this colorize option let's go for kind of bluish tint yep just like so and then again same thing go back to this uh, layer max let's fill it with black color and press ctrl and click on selection 2 we made a selection around here let's go back to hue and saturation layer go back to uh, layer max let's fill it with white so this is what we got let's merge everything ctrl shift alt and e let's merge it and let's go to filter and let's do some color adjustment so for that let's go to camera raw filter and then let's go over here let's add some clarity texture let's increase the exposure just like so maybe increase the shadows too right around here and let's go to uh, effects and let's add some grains and let's add some vignetting just like so and let's click on OK and then let's add a color LUT so go over here click on look up and I'm going to use my favorite mood LUT so select this one and click on load so this is what we got and now let's drag and drop this uh, image right over here and let's change the blending mode to screen let's keep it just like so and let's create a layer max go to brush and let's erase uh, some of these parts right just like so and let's merge everything Control shift alt and e let's go to filter let's add some blur let's add a motion blur so this is what we got and then let's click on ok Let's create a layer max using a black color just remove uh, some of these parts just like 
so and again let's merge everything Control shift alt and e and let's go to filter let's add our same motion blur create a layer max and then yep so this is what we got maybe let's reveal some of these parts back yep yep let's keep it like that and then let's add some text let's add a curve on very top and then let's make it a little darker yep just like so and then make a copy Control and j let's move it all the way to the top and let's change the blending mode to hard light and yes so that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video bye bye